Governor, 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 Governor,
from coming over the bridge. Uh, these people are heroes. They saved lives last. They saved lives last night. Go, 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 um, yeah, uh, the focus is on rescue now and humanity. Yeah. But looking forward, is there any vision for how long it could possibly take to remove the wreckage, to rebuild, how it could possibly be done? Can you look into the future at all at this point? This is going to be a long-term build. It's going to be a build that's going to require every facet and every aspect of our society. Um, it is something that I can tell you, we are going to get this done. We are going to make sure that, that this is, is not, just, not just rebuilt, but that we are going to rebuild in a way that remembers the people who this tragedy has impacted and also do it in a way that, uh, that honors the community uh, that it serves. But um, but right now, uh, I could not give you any form of estimate on timing or, or cost. Right now, uh, my and all of our exclusive focus is we're just trying to save lives. Can the mayor talk on the state of emergency locally, please? <clears throat> yes, thank you. Uh, listen, we, we know the governor issued a state of emergency, but we at the local level uh, felt the need to do that, too, because there may be some things that we have to encumber with our fire department and other agencies that will be able to pull down support for as we all work together again as we're focused right now on saving lives and working through this unspeakable tragedy. In the, in, the, in the interim, I know that there's obviously the focus is on the rescue and the recovery, but this is such an important thoroughfare here in Baltimore for drivers, people trying to get around. How are they going to while that is also going on. Yeah, so so we've also uh, already been in touch with people about alternative routes uh, and ways people can navigate uh, now that this tragedy has happened. And I don't know, Secretary, if you want to speak to that as well. Just to give you a sense of scale, roughly uh, about uh, 35,000 people you know, a day use that facility. About double that use the Harbor Tunnel, and double that again use the Fort McHenry Tunnel. So basically, we have those two other options. Uh, we'll, we'll make sure that we have as much uh, personnel out there to deal with any incidents, because as you know, that can cause the backups very quickly. And we will basically put out a lot of communication on different alternatives. We're also looking at transit alternatives as well. What role will the what legislature play in this response? What role will the legislature play in this response? Is, are there any policies, any <coughs> Oh yeah, no. So we're we are uh, in fact, you know, we have our, our Senate president here. We have members of the legislature here. The legislature is going to have a role uh, in all of this, as will our local elected officials, as will state officials, as will the federal government. Uh, you know, everybody is going to have a role in terms of how we think about the rebuild. Governor, how long do you expect shipping to be closed down through the port? Do you have any estimate in terms of the, the port here? We 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 don't at this point. But we no don't at this point. Are going in or out at this time. Correct. Right. Yeah, we have, and we do, we don't have we don't have an estimate on timeline as of yet. Uh, our focus really is right now on just make sure we're saving lives. One last question: Did that person die in the hospital? Are they able to get out at all? Or no? I'm sorry, say it again. The ships that occur, the vessels that are currently docked at the port, are they able to get out? Yes, they are. Okay. Yes, they are. Thank you. 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 Yes, uh, was the ship being guided out by tugs, firstly? And secondly, did you just say that it issued a May Day in enough time that you were able to stop all traffic from entering both sides, so that the only uh, casualties we expect are the workers on the bridge? Yes, ma'am. So the investigation is still going on, so we're going to have all the full details, uh, and also all the full details about the timeline and the TikTok that took place. But we're thankful that between the May Day and the collapse, that, uh, that we had officials who were able to to begin to stop the flow of traffic so more cars would not end up on the bridge. And, and I can tell- there were some on the bridge or not? Were there any- well, During others? the collapse. Yeah, were there some on the bridge? There have been reports that have been sonar that have detected vehicles at the bottom of the water. So as well as the eight people, there could still be people trapped inside or potentially have died in vehicles, is that correct? No, I, I think, well, the investigation is still going on. Uh, to find out exactly exactly how many people and what was situation, but the thing that we do know is that uh, is that uh, many of the vehicles were stopped before they got onto the bridge, which uh, which which uh, saved lives in a, in a in a very very heroic way. Thank you all very right, much. Thank, thank you. So much. We'll have another update thank later. Thank you.